Okay, so I wasn't going to do this, but some people asked, so I'm going to do it now. Uh, how how to make this more in depth? So uh, for starters, the stuff that I the hardware that I used for the computer, I used like a Raspberry Pi uh, connected to a servo and a webcam. But it, that's in my computer now. So uh, yeah, all all the all the stuff that I used will be in the description along with links where you can get them. Obviously, there's a clock that's falling apart now got that also duct tape to put it all together and then also I had a portable charger on here which basically well charged it obviously and yeah so that's everything on the clock uh, I don't have the portable charger with me anymore uh, that's somewhere else so link in the description or you can go back to the other video and I show it there it's a portable charger you probably know what that looks like Okay, so that's all the hardware, but the actual, like, stuff that you need to do with it, uh, when you get the servo motor, um, and the Raspberry Pi, you can connect it to these little pins, these GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi, and this, uh, servo has, like, three, three wires, and you'll need to get these female to male, god, oh, that's so close, uh, male to female, little like wire strip things like they have little pins on the end and then they have stuff that fits into these uh, Raspberry Pi's pins and what uh, what I did like this some of its ground and then positive and negative I forget which one you can look it up there's be like a chart of the Raspberry Pi and like the pins that go with it and the thing that I use that worked for me when I looked it up uh, is is uh, red in number two slot orange in number three slot and brown in number six slot um, you'll, you'll see what I mean, there'll be like a, a graph somewhere on this on the screen uh, yeah so once you have that you'll need to charge it by getting a charger or wall outlet and getting a USB C or B or A mini something in there it'll probably come with a Raspberry Pi if you have that and then connect it to HDMI to your computer and finally one more thing you'll need a micro SD card to fit in there and you'll need to install Raspberry in which is like the Raspberry Pi OS there'll be a link in the description on a tutorial not my tutorial but some tutorial uh, so you can do that and uh, finally if you're using a USB camera webcam you just plug it into the USB if you're using a camera on the Raspberry Pi um, that like fits into this slot right here that's like made for the Raspberry Pi uh, I don't know how to set that up you probably find a some tutorial online and it's probably gonna be similar code or same exact code to what I have you might just plug it in there I don't know how that works uh, yes and now the code okay okay so here's the, the folder that's on the Raspberry Pi I just moved it over to my computer so I could record it so uh, there's three files. I'll talk about these in a second. But the first one is just the Python program, and this is all it is. It's very simple. Okay, so here's here's the code. So I'm importing three different libraries. First one, CV2, uh, just allows me to. That's the facial detection libraries, uh, or object detection libraries, I should say. And then RPI.gpio is just the library that allows me to, it's a library built into the Raspberry Pi which allows me to send signals out of the pins so the motor can rotate. So these two lines basically just tell my Raspberry Pi to set the third pin in the layout to output which basically means that that's the one that it was connected to my servo and that's the one that my servo when it receives it moves. This is just a function that allows me to easily move the angle of the motor so I can set it to 180 or 0, just like that, so I don't have to write out this code again. This is the... Okay, here, I'll talk about this. So these are har cascades, which are basically massive files of stuff. This is made by Intel, and it's basically just like this massive... Oh, massive file. I don't know what's going on. Massive file of, like, information that they've collected. This is for the eyes, 
so it can like detect where my eyes are and it has all this like stuff in it and can somehow detect where my eyes are I don't know how it works but I just put it into these variables and later on in CV2 uh, kind of just kind of just works out kind of just works I don't know okay so this makes a variable and just puts it at zero this makes a capture and starts recording my from my webcam and then all this code basically just detects when it sees my eyes if it does see my eyes then it'll start adding to this counter to this variable right here and then otherwise it'll set it back to zero and if the counter reaches or greater than three then it will rotate the angle 180 degrees and back and then reset the counter uh, this just shows me the camera on my screen so I can make sure that it's working well and then this just cleans everything up and stops it uh, I know that wasn't really an uh, in-depth thing uh, but I kind of forget how a lot of it works because I'm stupid and didn't write any documentation about it so links in the description will be to some good tutorials not made by me but made by some people someone somewhere that can show you how to do this uh, people that I used because I don't know how to do this and I forgot <laughs> there'll be links in the description for how you can get open CV and how you can set up the Raspberry Pi it was kind of hard for me to get open CV on the Raspberry Pi it took like three days uh, but once I finally got it I found a good tutorial and uh, that will be in the description so I know that this was like a kind of crappy bad video but I mean there's not that much to know about it that's basically all other than the code which I did a really bad job of explaining but there should be enough stuff in the description that you can understand it if you watch those videos because I forget how to do it alright that's all uh... yeah so bye